Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, your time. Welcome back to News and Details TV. Welcome our new members to the old ones. We love you guys. I said supporting us, may the love support you in everything you lay your hands. Amen. To the news and details. Guys, do not forget to hit that red button that says subscribe and the bell that says all. The access you get to know when we upload new video. Oh my goodness. Now <clears throat> a lot is happening. The election is almost here. Let us take the news the way it is. Court dismisses suit seeking Tinubu disqualification. You had it right. A federal high court in Lagos today, Friday, dismissed a suit filed by a group seeking the disqualification of the presidential candidate of all progressive Congress, Bola Ahmed Tinubu, from the 2023 general election. Justice Binta, in the judgment, held that the plaintiff, the incorporated trustees of Kingdom Human Rights Foundation International, lacked the local standing legal right to institute the case. This issue of local standing of the applicant is a treasure hold issue because anything anything conduct without locus standee will be a naughty and it will be set aside she said hmm. and we also know that uh, the same court has disqualified a delicate of the gun of the governorship result take a look at the video i posted earlier if you haven't now the question is the election is around the corner and a certain people won baba disqualified do not get me wrong go jagaban of lagos is a politician he has been in the game for a long time now but the question remains that, is he still capable? Can he withstand the heat? That is what we're talking about here. We know um, he needs to rest. He needs to take care of his health, whether we like it or not. Baba needs to rest. Let us quickly take some comments from some Nigerians. Somebody said, Law, no shortcut. Get your PVC ready. Tinubu is our next president. Wow. Another person said, Baba himself. Now court now, my presidential candidate 2023. These people know even they fear. When I carry Tinubu go court. When I just they invite Wahala for herself, somebody said. <laughs> Who be those mumu where one disqualify our next president? Even if say he no they stand straight, somebody said. But this man is old for this job now. Allow him rest. Baba needs rest, somebody says. It's very painful that after our lawyers have spent years to study, they allow all these politicians with primary school and Nepa bio certificate holders to use them can't you people see that he needs to rest can't you people see he is not fit to be a president somebody says if you guys have watched king of boys you will know how powerful this baba is court cannot disqualify him it is all super story somebody says our incoming president, Isha Allah, all your enemies will begin to stumble one by one and their mad dogs will continue to rant on social media till you will become the president, I swear. <laughs> now we day here, somebody says, now wow, how many of these suits are in court? Because we see their headlines every two, two days. Another person says, Atiku and Obi, 
They really are afraid of Master Ashwaju Tinubu. Is that true? Another person says, a country ruled by unfortunate elements and lying and unfortunate legacy. I love that pastor that said, may the future of your children, children be like that of who you will be voting for in 2023. Another person says, glory to Jehovah God. Alajibola Ahmed Tinubu is our next president of Nigeria after President Mohamed Buhari. <laughs> it is really laughable, guys. Now, whether we like it or not, you know, the fact remains that there is a saying which says that absolute power intoxicates absolutely. We can see that Baba needs rest. I am not saying that they should disqualify him, but we can see already that he needs rest. He needs to bring somebody. If he wants somebody to run, he appoints somebody. We need people that are capable, men that are men, men that we speak, men that would, you know, rehearse with the youths, understand the pain of the common man. That is what Nigerians need at the moment. Nigerians does not need the same old people all the time in rotation. And mind you, that a lot of people are clamoring for Peter Obi is because he left the office not leaving deficit but surplus. I want you to understand that. Peter Obi left surplus, not deficit. He did not leave Anambra State into borrowing, but he left surplus for them. That is why people are saying that Peter Obi is the man. And you can see he has the strength and he knows what a common man wants. Wake up and cast your vote the right way. Let me know your thoughts. Please share out and give us some likes. I love you guys. Let me see us again on my next video. Bye-bye guys. Bye.